So in my previous film, I uh, explained how I calibrate my monitors uh, using a, a data color spider. Um, and then a couple of people asked the question about, great, you've calibrated your monitor, but what about calibrating your printer? Um, well, I don't do any home printing. Uh, I used to do quite a lot of home printing. I used to have quite an expensive uh, setup. But when that equipment got a little bit uh, kind of old fashioned and, and obsolete, I, I did the calculations and it was actually cheaper to send stuff off to a lab uh, and have the lab print it than it was to invest in a new system. Um, but it was a good question because if you're sending off to a lab, um, how do you know that their printers are set up to the same calibration that you've got in your system? So I'm going to run through how I use print profiles in Lightroom to make sure that when I send stuff off to the lab, what I get back is what I see on my monitors. Uh, and in the example, I'm going to use the print space. So they're an online printer. Uh, I do a lot of my work through the print space. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to get hold of the print profiles and then how to use them in Lightroom. Uh, and then when I've done that, I'll come back because there's a bit of an offer for you. I use the print space for lots of my printing. So I've gone to their website. Obviously, there's lots of other printing companies available, but I'm using this as demonstration. Uh, if I go over to printing, I can then download their print profile. So if I select that, uh, it, it will start the process of downloading those files onto my hard drive. When they're downloaded, I just need to save them into the right place. Uh, it, it varies depending on whether you're Mac or Windows where you save those. So just uh, just check out um, kind of Google where you should sa you should save those. Uh, but once you've once you've saved them into the right place. Uh, just go over to Lightroom. I've got this picture here of uh, Sparrowhawk in the garden and uh, you need to be in the de develop module. Uh, and then just under the image, there's an option to tick a box which says soft proofing and you'll see the background changes to white. Um, you also get then this control module comes up in the top right hand corner uh, and you can choose um, different profiles. So um, it defaults actually to sRGB. Um, but uh, th there's a couple of options there. But if I click other, uh, all the um, print space uh, profiles that I've downloaded will, will pop up. So um, I'll just choose the bottom one. Uh, and, and if you look at the image, you'll, you'll probably see there's a very subtle change. Uh, let me choose a different one, see if I can make a, a bigger change. Uh, let's try Fuji Flex. Um, so try that a bit more of a bit more of a change gone a bit more um, uh, kind of matte looking um, so then your next option uh, is intent perceptual and relative um, just try clicking back and forwards on those so perceptual tends to give you more shadow detail relative tends to be a little bit better uh, for lighter images so just just click a, a about see which you prefer I think I'll, I'll choose relative f for that one so I've, I've chosen my profile i've chosen my intent uh, and all i need to do now is, is export it so uh, file and export what you want to make sure is that you change the name of the file um, so uh, you don't want to save it over your original image so i'm going to change that to uh, sparrowhawk fuji flex um, what I also need to do is you need to go to your file settings, make sure you select TIFF, make sure compression is none. Uh, and then on color space, you need to choose the same color space as obviously the one that you've used for your uh, soft proofing. So just click that, uh, click over and I'm going to, what was it again? Fuji Flex, choose Fuji Flex, click OK uh, and then export that image. Then what you need to make sure you do is when you go to your printer to print space, when you order your print, choose the same print uh, as the one you've just used in, in profile as, as your soft proofing profile. So obviously to print that image, um, I'd upload it to the print space and then choose Fuji Flex to print it. And then you get as near as damn it to uh, the image that you've got in front of you on the screen. So hopefully that was fairly easy to uh, understand. Uh, what it means is that you're essentially calibrating your system and using the profiles that the lab are using. So what you see when you're using Lightroom to create your images is, is what the lab are using. So it gives you a, a kind of the, the, the perfect process of, of getting prints back that are, are really what you see when you're, you're um, uh, processing them. 
So uh, ho hope you found that useful. Uh, I've mentioned the print space a couple of times. Again, I'm not sponsored by the print space. They haven't paid me for this video, but because I'm a regular customer, they've given me a discount code. And the discount code I'll put on the screen uh, now. So it'll be on the screen now. And what it means is uh, when you order your first print, you get a discount. Um, so go to the print space, put that code in at checkout and you'll get a, a discount on those uh, on those prints. So uh, thanks to PrintSpace for sending me that. As I say, I'm a regular customer, so it's a kind of a thank you for, for being a regular customer. And uh, any questions about print, pro, print, print profiles, a bit of a tongue twister, um, stick them in the comments below. Thumbs up would be great. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and click the, uh, the bell so that you get a notification when I upload new stuff. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.